Hello Queenslanders. I wanted to take some time to talk to you directly as we kick off our campaign. 2020 has been a year like no other. The global coronavirus pandemic has affected all of us in different ways. Lives have been lost, people's jobs have been impacted. So many of our small businesses have fought to survive. I know COVID-19 has taken its toll on Queensland families. I know it's been tough. But I also know Queensland's COVID-19 response is working. Finally, our lives are starting to get back to normal. Unlike Victoria and so many other places around the world, Queensland's economy is reopening. Queenslanders are getting back to work. Small businesses are getting back on their feet. This is only possible because of the way Queenslanders have collectively responded to this pandemic. As Premier, I had to take some tough decisions. I stared down relentless attacks when it came to closing Queensland's borders. And I don't apologise for any of it. Keeping Queenslanders safe will always be my number one priority. Our health response means our economic recovery plan is well underway, particularly in the regions. Our plan includes more support for small business, backing Queensland manufacturing and building critical new infrastructure. We're working hard to make sure we can keep Queensland in recovery mode. Every day we see sad news about second and third waves around the world impacting lives and livelihoods. In Victoria, tragically, more than 800 people have lost their lives. If this year has taught us anything, it's that our strong frontline services have been critical to our COVID response and to our recovery. If we want to keep safe and keep delivering our economic recovery plan, we have to protect those frontline health services. In recent days, the LNP has admitted that their plan is to cut thousands of frontline health jobs, including nurses, over the coming years. Queensland cannot afford to go back to those LNP cuts, especially now. The 2020 election campaign formally commences today. COVID-19 means this won't be a typical election campaign. Many people will be voting early and sending in a postal vote. But every day I'll still be listening and talking directly to Queenslanders. So keep an eye on my Facebook page and send me a message now and then. Let's keep working together for Queensland.